There are two misunderstandings with respect to cooling towers when condenser water systems are designed to the recommended temperature difference in the ASHRAE Green Guide and Chilled Water Plant Design Manual, as well as the Advanced Energy Design Guides. Let's look at them. ASHRAE 90.1 cooling tower efficiency is rated at conditions of 95 entering tower temperature, 85 leaving, and 75 degree wet bulb temperature, and following the Cooling Technology Institute standard. At these conditions, 98.1-2019 requires a rating of 40.2 GPM per horsepower or greater. Then, the tower can be applied at any conditions. When people design to the ASHRAE Green Guide delta T's of 12 to 18 degrees, sometimes there's confusion about cooling tower selections, and this is with respect to two issues. First, does the tower selection meet the 90.1 requirements? Second, is it okay for the approach temperature to be less than five degrees Fahrenheit? As we'll see, the answer to both is yes. Let's look in the, at an example. For a specific cooling tower, the manufacturer provides a CTI rating of 41.4 GPM per horsepower. So the tower meets the 90.1-2019 efficiency requirement. But your climate is more humid than the rating conditions and has a 78 degree wet bulb temperature. You select that same cooling tower at a 14 degree delta T following the recommendations of the ASHRAE Green Guide. You also select that same cooling tower at a flow rate of 1000 GPM to reject the heat of a 500 ton cooling load. Your tower meets the 90.1 requirement since its GPM per horsepower at 90.1 rating conditions is still 41.4. It's that simple. So where does the confusion come in? Some people make the error of dividing the actual selection flow rate of 1000 GPM by the fan horsepower and think that the tower has a GPM per horsepower of 25. But that is at your selection conditions not 90.1 rating conditions, so don't do that. All you need to do is get the tower selection at 90.1 rating conditions and ensure it meets or exceeds the ASHRAE 90.1 requirement. Uh, let's look at the second point of confusion. What happens if the cooling tower heat exchange results in a very good approach temperature? Uh, the approach temperature is the difference between the tower water leaving temperature and the wet bulb temperature. Uh, your selection has an approach temperature of 4.5 degrees. Since the approach temperature at these conditions is less than five degrees, the tower selection program may state that at these conditions, the performance is not guaranteed. The selection is not CTI certified and the selection does satisfy your design conditions. These are true for these conditions, but it is valid to select and install the tower since the selection satisfies design conditions and exceeds the 90.1-2019 requirements. In summary, to comply with the standard, simply meet the ASHRAE tower efficiency requirements at 90.1 rating conditions. Then, apply the tower at your specific selection conditions.